Let me introduce you, please, to a lump of cheddar cheese. No, it is not the song for Vindaloo, but uh, cheese in the fact of Bishop and Hulk. These are my two rank 3 7 stars that I got after I 100%ed uh, Necropolis by obviously getting the rank up gem and, and picking the champion. I could pick Hulk, which I must admit, great thumbs up. Thanks for Kabam kind of adding in that little, uh, you know, thing there. And of course, if you saw the video, you'll know what happened after I uh, selected Hulk. Um, yes. In, par in, in two Paragon Crystals, I pulled the dupe. So that just goes to show you that is... And as we did a shorts as well, that's the most... M I think someone said this on Twitter. I forgot who it was. He said that that was the most MCOC thing to happen. And I totally agree. Um, but yes, let's go into some like uh, just quick, quick details and kind of just show some gameplay of these two champions in action. I've been trying to road test them a little bit in different bits of content and trying them out in diff different kind of like scenarios. And that's what I want to kind of showcase in this video. Bishop in particular, I've been using a lot and just road testing some ideas about the champion further. We'll talk about that and also some, some things in a future video where I kind of list the hacks that I'm using and what's effectively being used next week. A full video devoted to that, uh, which will be centered around um, how as a rank 3 7 star, he's just obliterated content has been very helpful but no, that's not what this is about this is about these two new champions these two new champions these two new seven stars added into my uh, my roster or at least kind of like beefed up so to speak have been uh, game changers in a very short time frame that I've had them but will be a bigger game change a bit further on I personally would like to set them up with um, with a mastery that's not the one I currently have my masteries do have to change. They're not the ones that I'd like to kind of have at the moment in time. They're just remnants of uh, other things that I've got on my MCOC to-do list, which has to be changed. Set my Battlegrounds deck up. Go and say, uh, change my masteries around what I'm planning to do that. Get a new kind of like loadout switch for that. It's an, it's an endless journey uh, of things. But look, let's start off with Hulk, okay? I took him into some content, rotated around with him, and my word, what a load of damage. So I'm still figuring out, for me personally, how I want to rotate around with the champion. Whether or not I want to build up like many other people do say, to kind of get to 1.9 bars of power and then kind of like take it from there and kind of uh, let rip, so to speak, with it. I've seen some things as well about building uh, of the... Uh, what is it called? Like building of a power if I'm doing certain mediums, yada yada, like that. Not like this is what I'm doing right at the moment. I'm just kind of like just mucking around and, and playing around. But this is the thing as well, just the personal kind of like enjoyment of rotation and as well damage potential the champion has if you're trying to do something like, uh, I don't know, a, a perma stun. And this is obviously for Necropolis, and we're kind of like going a little bit kind of balls deep, so to speak, with just kind of being ferocious and kind of, uh, you know, uh, monsterish. Then, of course, what we're doing now is we're kind of trying to do some kind of an element of a permastun. Whether or not it actually kind of comes off, whether or not it's something I would uh, necessarily recommend as a champion snaps out right there. And, of course, I think I'm going to die right now after doing 78 hits. Look, it is, it is what it is with that one. Um... But I like the perm stun. That's something I liked about the old the old version is the perm stun. Switching to a non-live gameplay just to kind of showcase this right here. So this is from a Realm of Legends session that I did recently. And it was just nice to kind of figure out what I liked about the champion. I tried out loads of methods, especially ones that people had advised. I personally am more about doing SP2, close to three bars of power, and then firing off like SP2 going into SP1 rotation, uh, which you're going to see on the screen. Boom, right there, and then going in, and then trying to uh, get my relic off, and then be, again, another kind of like aggressive as possible. And 43 hits right there. Look, this is a storm example where I'm smacking up storm. Similar way as well. Um, similar amount of hits. And again, just kind of following that process, whether or not I want to... And I, I think the ease of play for Hulk, for accessing great amount of damage, it doesn't really matter like how you play it. It's just a case of just smash. Just swipe and smash, really, which you can see right there. It could be a case that... Well, am I being... Should I be more aggressive? Should I be aggressive when the unstoppable passive comes in? There's still road testing as to see like what it what works for me, what doesn't. But of course, a lot of fun 
can be had with Hulk. I certainly like the next fight, which is the one against, I think it's Black Bolt, which is uh, this one right here. There we go. Um, that is a bit more kind of like aggressive. And I think this is at a point where I'm like, you know, I'm happy here. Good intercept right there. And it's just being comfortable with the champion because a lot of time I haven't taken up my six star version of this champion because I wanted to get the seven star. And that's the thing, isn't it? You just kind of like get this kind of rotation in mind that you think is going to be effective and good. And of course, we've got stuff like that where we're going to be very aggressive. Do a little uh, relic that right there, physical, I think it's physical vulnerability, yeah, that's it. And then we do an SP1 rotation and just absolutely dominate for 40 hits. So, look, I like that. I think that's a lot of fun. Bishop, on the other hand, has been this kind of revelation in content like, well, uh, incursions. And I have liked really using like, the champion. As you can see here, like, uh, with buff cornucopia, which is up at the moment, it does mean that I can get this... It's kind of nice build right there, and we get a little bit more prowess. One more prowess and a well timed block if I can manage it. There we go. Throw an SP2, see what it does. Boom, 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 boom. And that's not too bad, but the only re like, well, actually, look at those ticks 19k per tick. That's really nice. I could just wait it out if I wanted to. Let's get some more. Well, I'd say let's get some more regen, but look, you know, that's that's great. Um, yeah, so kind of like. Um, the similar thing with Hulk, I've been playing about with um, different types of hack rotations on things, and of course I've got my um, my enabled boost hacks, but also getting things like special augmentation, champion does a great amount of prowess, uh, attack enhancement basic, just with basic hits if I choose to, but stun debuff, that's something for Hulk, I'll talk about another time, attack surge debuff count, then there's uh, debuff reinforcement incinerate, attack enhancement special, Debuff upgrade damage over time. We've got compounding harm, martial artist, buff cornucopia because you get those regens, and also pyrokinesis, which plays massively into another rotation that I've been doing uh, with certain champions to maximize incinerate damage just by doing medium attacks. Turning my attention to some footage, which you can see on screen right now. Uh, again, this is just showcasing some of that, like simply doing like some medium mediums, which you can see there, the incinerate being uh, quite nutty and quite nice. Not as nutty as what we saw just a moment ago, but that's because buff cornucopia really helps out if you're triggering off stuff. You can see as well, I'm sporting the Wolverine Relic. I have since, well, in during this, this little gameplay section, I have switched out that uh, particular relic, mainly because I just don't rate it and I've gone for the Storm Relic instead. You know, that's just kind of like a, a thing. I think it's important to kind of like switch around. But you can see, yeah, that's really nice. It's, Bit of build there. The Apocalypse Horseman's um, pre-fight does really help out. So that's what I've been doing as well. And of course, when you're going to see... Throw the SP2, Rich. There we go. Big damage. And he's down for the count. And this was getting me through to the, the higher zones, especially getting me into uh, yeah, zone 15. This is on sector 5. Yes, people might say, well, it's a bit easy, Rich, for you to do this. Well, I had already been experimenting with King Groot in sector 6 and also experimenting with some stuff with Hulk, which didn't actually go as according to plan, but that's mainly because I wasn't properly thinking and I wasn't properly using my head with, uh, with that. Of course, I take it to the block there, some damage I shouldn't really do. But uh, yeah, just throw an SP2 and the job is done because it's Sector 5 and I'm using a rank 3 um, 7 star. This is the Wolverine uh, Relic and I was trying to, this is the early experimentation phase. So this is, and this is non-Suicide Masteries. If I was looking to maximize some special damage, I would switch to Suicide Masteries, which we're going to see in this gameplay uh, as well. This is really exciting for me to, to kind of like spend a bit of time to experiment and work around champions on my main account on the you know non ccp server i do not have a um i do not have suicide masteries but i will do at some stage it was interesting as well because like i just couldn't get my rotation around which i've seen like loads of people use a specific synergy and they're able to maximize a lot of damage with the champion so then i changed up to the storm one there and you can see like well that didn't go so well i just got hit a bit and it's just a case of like i've got to i've got to really kind of get in that level of kind of concentration and and just like focus, but it was good to see at least I was kind of getting well, well timed blocks as well. You know, the AI is not too great nowadays, but yeah, it just wasn't really kind of like getting to that point I was happy with. And I was like, I wanted to test out Suicide Masteries with the champion just to kind of figure out what I was getting myself in for and what I've seen on so many other, you know, uh, occasions from other, you know, content creators kind of maximizing damage potential. It's not going to be to the degree that I have seen, but still, you know. This is the Suicide Masteries right now. 
and obviously the build up's important. We've got the prowess of the synergy um, help with um, I think it's uh, storm and one other. Is it hot? No, no, Hulk, Wolverine, something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to like get this this kind of like lockdown to kind of like the right point and right time. And that's the thing, isn't it? Everything's a learning curve. Everything's like there. I think I get lucky as well with my crit. And you can see we're doing 11k damage, four hits in total. It's not too bad. That's an all right attempt. That's probably my best attempt. I do get hit there, which isn't good. But look, the um, enemy's down, and that's the main thing, isn't it? To kind of like to to do that. All of that was done in. Um, 44 seconds it's a little bit longer than what i would have wanted but as i said you know when you're kind of like trying to test out stuff test the waters it's important to see like you know what is going to be the results but in any case um that's really been it i just wanted to like show video of um of these two champions in action as i said exciting on the process of kind of like uh, reacquainting myself with these champions especially now that i have um this seven star hulk i can actually play the champion and I'm looking forward to playing them out with um, with incursions. You saw their potential, and I have a full video about uh, Bishop in incursions at a later date. So look out for that. Thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, check out some other content located on the screen. I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye.